Hello, I'm Ron Clark. Okay, so this is the last, most recent book I have to offer. It's called Love Letter to a Dying World. Um, I wrote and published this thin little book in 2019, so it's pretty recent. And let's see, there are, I think, only 30 pages? 39 pages, so it's brief. It's very condensed. Um, the subtitle is A Handbook for Humanity. Well, uh, let me read you my introduction. Or my dedication. No, let me read the introduction. Because it really expresses the sentiment um, why I wrote this book. The world is dying. We have nearly killed our planet and everything on it through our self-centeredness. We have used and abused the natural world as if it were a plaything here for our convenience with no life of its own. We have treated our home without the respect it is due as a living, breathing, Thing. This little book is my own statement of a positive vision of what it can mean to be a human being in a world of other beings, of how we can be a positive force instead of a destructive one. Although it is too late to save the planet from the destruction we have unleashed, there is still time for each one of us to change how we behave. My hope is that humanity redeems itself in these last days through a transformation in how we treat our fellow beings and the planet at large. I have employed the Kabbalistic Tree of Life as a guide for these changes because I feel it is a good template. It clearly explains the structure of being, both human and non-human, and shows us a path to how we can be better, more responsible inhabitants of this world. I have done my best to write in a manner that does not require you to be familiar with the arcane philosophy of Kabbalah. All I have used is the names of the components of the Tree of Life. However, an initial reading by a friend who knows nothing of Kabbalah has alerted me to the need for a pronunciation guide. So I have added one here for your convenience. So this sort of sketches out uh, through a series of exercises, experiments that the reader can do for themselves to experience their connection with the world in a significant way. And it uses the structure of the Kabbalistic tree, but it follows it in the opposite sequence that most initiatory systems do. Most initiatory systems begin in Malkuth and climb up the tree. I don't do that. I, I have, for me, uh, you have to start at the top and work your way down because the top, Kether, is the ultimate in simplicity. It's so simple, it's sort of difficult for us to grasp. But here, I offer a method by which you can grasp it. You can experience these states of being. And learn to use them, basically. Um, so, in a sense, it's a call to action. Um, but the action is, is being, you know, being truly what it means to be a human being. That is my quest here, uh, my offering. So, yeah, that's my most recent writing and probably my last. I've written a, a whole shitload of stuff. Um, so... This book costs $13 
in paperback. Now it's a tiny little book. I couldn't do a hardback version because it's too small. They need a minimum of 75 pages and here's 40. Um, so, it's a paperback. It's very brief and to the point. I tried to be very concise in what I had to say and express here. And not too involved and complicated. Not too many words, you know? Um, I believe in brevity, you know, uh, really sort of getting to the point and saying what needs to be said instead of embellishing the shit out of it, okay? And that's what this book is all about. Um, so it's $13 for the paperback version, and it's $8 for an ebook version. I did an ebook of uh, Love Letter to a Dying World. So, there you go. That's my stack of books. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Bye bye. <laughs>